dear students today you are going to study about the population attributes what do you mean by population already you know the definition of population once again i am going to define population population is defined as group of individuals of a same species in a particular area in a given time group of individuals of same species in a particular area in a given time is called population or group of similar individuals in a particular area at given time so when the individuals of same species are found in a particular region so then we call it as population examples for population all the frogs in a pond rana tigrina lotus plants in a pond carboreds in wetland peacock trees in forest bacterias in culture plate etc so there are so many examples for population the peacock trees which are found within a forest forms a population of peacock plants or in a nutrient medium the bacteria which are been found growing so it forms a culture yes we can find a bacterial population similarly lana tigrina form frogs found within a pond so these are few examples of population you have studied in ecological hierarchy it is one of the level in the ecological hierarchy what are the characteristic features of a population the individuals of a population they are morphologically and anatomically similar they are ident yes they are identical morphologically they are all the individuals within a population are same as well as anatomically the second characteristic feature they are genetically the individuals of a population are genetically identical to each other the genetic makeup the chromosome number is the same and the individuals of one population are reproductively isolated from another population so individuals within a population can interbreed among themselves but not with the other population so the individuals of one population are reproductively isolated from another population so these are the characteristic features of a population a population has attributes but not the individual organism individual organism does not possess an attribute but a population has some attributes then what is meaning of attributes attributes means features characters characteristic features qualities of population so population has certain characteristic features but not the organism so now what are those characteristic features population attributes
the different population attributes natality mortality sex ratio population dispersal age distribution and population size so these are the different population attributes which now you are going to study in detail about these one by one natality are also known as birth rate natality is also known as birth rate it is the rate of production of new individuals per unit of population through birth hatching germination or vegetative propagation natality is defined as rate of production of new individual per unit of population per unit time how it is through birth hatching or vegetative propagation or germination so that is the definition of birth rate natality birth rate is equal to number of individuals added to the initial size of population how can we calculate birth rate or natality number of individuals added to the initial size of population it is the rate how what does the definition tells the rate of production of new individuals how are individuals added to a population it is by different ways so by birth or it might be by hatching if they are egg laying or in plants the seeds will germinate and produce the new plants yes or through vegetative propagations so by different means the new individuals will be added to the initial size of population so population is made up of individuals it has some number okay to that population when the individuals are being added and we will see important here is the time period within the what duration how many number of individuals have been added to a population so number of individuals added to initial size of a population say it might be week yes or it might be month or it might be a year okay so here important to the existing population how many number of new individuals are added and we have within the particular duration so that is called as birth rate birth rate always increases the size of a population birth rate will increase the size of a population why because it will add the individuals to a existing population Yes, it is.
सेकेंड इज मॉर्टैलिटी और डेथ रेट यू मैट हैव हर्ड द टर्म पोस्ट मॉर्टम मॉर्टम मॉर्टैलिटी इज रिलेटेड टू द डेथ मॉर्टैलिटी इज डिफाइंड एज द रेट ऑफ लॉस ऑफ इंडूशल लॉस ऑफ इंडूशल लॉस ऑफ इंडूशल टू ऑफ अ पॉपुलेशन पर यूनिट ऑफ अ पॉपुलेशन ड्यू टू डेथ इज कॉल्ड मॉर्टैलिटी वन सेगेन आई रिपीट मॉर्टैलिटी इज द रेट ऑफ लॉस ऑफ इंडूशल ऑफ यूनिट पॉपुलेशन ड्यू टू डेथ इज कॉल्ड एज मॉर्टैलिटी सो हियर we can find due to the death there will be loss of indusuals so we can lose the indusuals within a population death rate can be calculated as number of Induceals died to the initial size of population. death rate can be calculated by number of individuals die to the initial size of population death rate is the rate of loss of individuals per unit of population per unit time due to death is called death rate here also time is important within the du what duration how many of the individuals have been died within a population so once again i'll repeat mortality or death rate it is the rate of loss of individuals of a unit population per unit time due to death is called as death rate number of individuals died to the initial size of population so we we'll say here also duration time might be week within a week how many flies have been died in a fly population flies population yes or it might be year so both natality as well as mortality so to initial population how many individuals have been added in an unit time that is natality how many individuals have been lost died per unit of population per unit time that is called as death rate death rate mortality decreases the size of a population population size will be decreased why because there will be loss of individual the next population attribute it is sex ratio an individual may be either a male or a female but within a population we can find some few individuals will be male some few individuals will be the female so number of males and females per 1000 individuals it is called as sex ratio 
with 10,000 individuals. How many are males and how many are female? That is the sex ratio or percent of males and females within a population that is also the sex ratio. In any population, 60% of the individuals are females and 40% are males. The next population attribute it is population dispersal. Dispersed moving um, meaning moving here and there. Population dispersal. It is the movement of individuals of a population into or out of a given population. Say take one particular population and individuals may go out from within a from from a population or from outside the individuals might enter and join to a given population population dispersal mainly is seen to overcome overcrowding when more individuals are found within an habitat when more the individuals are found within a population, within their habitat, to overcome that, okay, so we can find overcrowding or in search of uh, the food or to overcome predator's effect or to overcome the stressful conditions, unfavorable condition, we can find population dispersal. Population dispersal means movement of Individuals of a population into or out of a given population, from a given population. Why? There are so many reasons. Population dispersal is of three types. Emigration, immigration and migration. So here in all these three terms we can find migration is common. Okay. So emigration, immigration and migration. So now we will study one by one. Emigration is the permanent outward movement of individuals permanent outward movement of individuals from a given population emigration it is a permanent outward movement of individuals from a given population is called emigration so a given population will lose the individuals so, due to emigration, it affects population size. So, now we can assign minus sign here. Okay, due to emigration, what will happen? Population size will be decreased. Why? Because again the individuals will want to come back to the given population. Permanently, they have left the given population. It is a permanent outward movement of individuals from a given population. Emigration always decreases a population size. Immigration. 
Occupation It is the permanent inward movement of individuals from outside to a given population. Immigration is defined as permanent inward movement of individuals from outside to a given population. So, from elsewhere, from any other place. When the individuals come and join to a given population, so then it is called as immigration. So, immigration, it will, we can find, give for a given population, the individuals will be born adding by a process of immigration. So, we can tell population size will be increased. We can assign plus sign here. So, it increases a population size. For example, a simple example, take a Bangalore city. Okay, so group of humans found in Bangalore. So, in human demography, deem is graphy means study. Study of human population demography we tell. In human demography, the definition of population is set of humans found in village, city, state or a country. It is like this. So, for example, in Bangalore, if you take a Bangalore, from different regions, different, yes, we can find districts. So, people in search of work, they go and settle work in Bangalore. So, given population we are considering here is Bangalore. So, what will happen? The size of population size, human population within a Bangalore will be gradually increasing. Okay, so what is immigration? Permanent. This example I have given permanent inward movement, incoming of individuals from outside to a given population. Yes, so from emigration, it is permanent outward movement, immigration. It is a permanent inward movement of individuals. The third type of population dispersal, it is migration. Migration is a two-way process, two-way movement. Migration is the movement of whole population to overcome unfavorable or stressful condition. When the conditions becomes favorable and again the return back. So migration it is a two way process, two way movement. First they move their habitat, whole population, not one or two individuals. The whole population will move away from its habitat to overcome stressful conditions, unfavorable conditions and move towards a new area. Again, they return back when the conditions become favorable. So, that is called as migration. So, migration neither increases nor decreases the population size. Okay, it is a two-way process. So, population dispersal is seen for so many reasons where the individuals may leave the populations or the individuals may enter a given population.
the next population attribute is age distribution the individuals within a population are of different ages in any population we can find three age groups there will be three age groups within any population the three age groups are pre reproductive reproductive age group and post reproductive age group individual might be of different age but in a population we can find three different age group pre reproductive reproductive and post reproductive pre reproductive individuals are young individuals immature individuals they do not have capacity of reproduction after some years they get become mature and they gain the capacity of reproduction reproductive individuals are the adults they are sexually mature individuals and they have a capacity of reproduction post reproductive age group they are the old age individuals who have lost the capacity of the reproduction so in population we can find these three age groups pre reproductive reproductive and post reproductive by the comparative abundance of any of these age groups we can tell whether a population is expanding increasing stable zero growth and whether it is declining yes when a population when a population has more the number of pre reproductive age group when pre reproductive age group individuals are more within the population that population will always be expanding it shows positive growth when all the three age groups are in equal number within a population in any population all the three age groups are in equal number so then that population shows zero growth means stable it is neither increasing nor decreasing zero growth or it is stable when a population has more the number of post reproductive old aged individuals yes so such a population will be declining negative growth because loss of individuals they are old age and death might occur so based on the comparative abundance of the age groups within a population we can tell whether a population is expanding stable or declining by using these age groups three age groups we can plot a graph and a, the resultant structure we call it as age pyramid what is the importance of age pyramid by 
seeing the age pyramid of any population we can tell no need of study how many individuals within a population are young individuals pre reproductive how many are post reproductive how many are reproductive only when we tell, see the age pyramid of that particular population we can tell we can predict whether a population is expanding whether it is stable or declining age pyramid is defined as it is a graphical representation of different age groups in a population graphical representation of different age groups in a population with pre reproductive ones in the base reproductive ones in the middle and post reproductive ones on the top is called age pyramid it is a graphical representation of different age groups with pre reproductive ones in the base reproductive ones in the middle post reproductive ones on the top age pyramid it is a graphical representation of three age groups in a population with pre reproductive ones in the base reproductive ones in the middle and post reproductive ones on the top and the resultant structure is called age pyramid by seeing the age pyramid of any population we can tell whether a population is expanding whether a population is stable or whether population is declining so there are three types of age pyramid triangular triangular shape age pyramid bell shaped and urn shaped age pyramid triangular shaped age pyramid bell shaped age pyramid and urn shaped so one by one we will study first triangular shaped age pyramid this in a 
triangular edge pyramid the base here you can find this the base is triangular means base is broader so base is broader and apex is smaller what does definition tell pre reproductive ones in the base reproductive ones in the middle post reproductive ones in the top any population which shows triangular shaped age pyramid so in that population it has large number of egg individuals pre reproductive ones are more when compared to the reproductive and post reproductive post reproductive are less so that population will be expanding why because see here after some years these young individuals immature individuals they become sexually mature and they have a capacity of reproduction so in that population we can find reproductive so when they become enter into reproductive again we can find number will be increased so addition of individuals will be seen to a population so next is bell shaped any population which has bell shaped age pyramid bell shaped here we can find both pre reproductive and reproductive age group are almost similar yes so then it is stable population see now pre reproductive individuals as well as reproductive pre reproductive and reproductive individuals are same so reproductive individuals they will be adding on the new individuals to a population and they enter into post reproductive pre reproductive their number is similar to the reproductive so after few years they again enter into reproductive age groups so they also add the individuals to a population okay so the birth rate the number of individuals added almost will be same okay constant so it is a stable population so number of pre reproductive and reproductive individuals are same so it is called as stable population last urn shape urn shape means base is narrow apex is broader here any age group which has urn shaped age pyramid in that population reproductive age group see here in the middle reproductive age group is more when compared to the pre reproductive ones young individuals are small uh, young individuals number is smaller so it is a declining population in a population when pre reproductive ones are more compared to the reproductive ones so that a population age pyramid is urn shaped and it will be declining so age pyramid will help us to predict whether a population is expanding whether it is stable and whether it is declining so in the next class you are going to study about the other types of other remaining one that is population science